Alrighty, so here we are back playing some more Tropico 6 and we are on to episode number 4 of our Dystopia Island playthrough. In the last episode we made it roughly I would say halfway through the Cold War era and in this episode I would definitely like to make it into the Modern Times era. And I definitely need to start getting the economy under control. I guess I've been doing some thinking and really I think it's just the Spy Academy. Like we've been doing lots and lots of production, but the Spy Academy is definitely holding us back. So let's get into it. So here we are. In the last episode we had to purchase a bunch of vehicles. And today we actually get to sell them. So we should make 64k minus our 24 negative. And I guess we'll see what kind of shape we're in. Now, we definitely need to start getting support up. Oof, man, our overall happiness is tanking so hard. Um, Maybe it's time that we start focusing on that a bit. Oh, man, it just sucks that we're struggling this hard. There's so many little things. What also sucks is if we try to cheat our way through an election, something I realized is that it's going to drag down support for a long time. And so that is really, really bad. Oh, you know what might go well with an island like this is martial law. I mean, it makes sense. And we are supporting, I believe, the militarist faction. You know what? We're going to turn on martial law in this run. Well, I don't know if that's actually gonna be the coolest thing because i do want to definitely do only wealthy citizens vote because that's definitely rather quite dystopian so i think i will actually leave martial law off okay so we're just looking to make it through this era let's see man this has taken so long Hopefully they don't come back and ask for yet another very expensive thing. How's the population doing? In terms of food, we could actually start... We can put down our first grocery. I think I'm going to do that. Ooh, here's a good spot. And we can do yet another conventio building. just like that okay so with at least one grocery that should start to help out with our food happiness um, we'll probably definitely have to do yet another one let's see what else healthcare let's go ahead and do oh man I want to put down more clinics as you can see in their lifetime they are costing us money as well we just need more money that's like our biggest issue right now it's the fact that we're not making enough money. Hmm. Logs. Most of the logs still aren't getting processed. Most of our planks are getting processed, so that's good. Um, this is telling me that we can set up yet another lumber mill, so let's consider doing that. I suppose here's as good a spot as any. Put that on high priority. We're starting to get steel, um, which now we don't really need. Previously, we needed it for cars, a bit of car production, but not super necessary at this point. Let's check in on our production buildings, make sure everything's still getting funneled out of the island. Kind of not really. Yeah, there's just so many production buildings nowadays. And see, this is what's surprising to me is the fact that we're not really generating that much money, even though there's so much production. Maybe it's solely due to the fact that... Oof, no, the lumber mills are giving too low of a wage, so a lot of the people working in the lumber mills cannot actually afford housing. It's these guys on this specific island that have wanted to have a low wage. Okay. 
Um, now that the people up here can afford this, let's go through and demolish up their housing, their shacks, see if that's going to help encourage them to find an actual home. Yeah, every single, like, decision that I could possibly make that would make the population happier, it's like, we just need more money for it. Um, the banks... Ooh, it's already on the lowest budget. That's decent. Sugar... That was a sugar import. Distillery is completely full. How many job sites do we have versus how many we need? Plenty. Homeless families, 48. We have just enough well-off housing and then homeless families, we need 18 more housing for them. Here comes, how much is that in Theo? We need 18. Oh, and there's 20. So we have enough housing as soon as this Coleman Theo is done here for everyone to enjoy. Whoa, what's the difference here? Housing. Oh, housing quality in Coleman Theo's goes down over over time. Um, we could put these on auto recovery. And let's go ahead and demolish up any shacks out here as well. Oh, no, not you. Okay. Hopefully that helps out a bit. Support is slowly rising. Hmm. I don't really think it's due to the fact that we're making everyone happy. Oh yes, and then the poor people we want to start. Getting down as many. Not as many, but we want to start getting down taverns for them. Mm, so they're three by threes, and I want to find an efficient way to set up what's it called? These taverns, sort of amongst them. Um, I suppose for now, what we can do is just two taverns like this. Okay, yeah, support is climbing a little bit slowly. Um, did the grocery finish? It did. So let's max out its budget. Service quality of 76, which is much higher than the 50 that we're getting from our plantations. On top of that, as food gets stocked in here, it should go up. So 78, 80, and it'll continue to go up a little bit. And so that's nice. Which means that every single person on the island will prefer to go here. But if they can't, um, if it's just too full or whatever, then they'll settle for going down to the plantations. Twenty four K hanging out here, a bunch of sugars trying to be sold. I'll deliver an amazing speech. Hmm. A lot of people don't really want me in office anymore. Which is a sh which is a shame. Faith happiness, we'll go ahead and acknowledge that. We'll praise our communist again. Blame Let's blame no one because they might get really upset if we blame them. And promise nothing. Call me the broker. I guess I had another name once. But you know what names are good for? They're good for getting you arrested, Presidente. Well, that's not my game. My game would be business. Which business? Hey, what have you got? Um, I would want to do hot rolling. Actually, you know what? 
Hot rolling is probably going to be good here. Something like hot rolling here where it increases efficiency while also increasing the upkeep. Um, things like this typically you only want to do them whenever you have a low budget on the building. Which this steel mill definitely does have. So I'm going to go ahead with that. Let's go ahead and increase the budget on the taverns. Put them on all you can drink. Giving us a very low service quality still due to the fact that the local beauty is going to be atrociously low. But that'll be okay, eventually at least. Um, let's go ahead and check out what changing the rum distillery to supply local market does. It brings service quality up to 50, so that I am content with. Um, lumber mills. Yeah, I'm fine with having... Let's put these on hasty debarking, every single one of them. Um, but I'm fine with having the wage just high enough for the people on this island to afford a home. Let's click on residential occupancy. Okay. So we want to have everyone in a home. That would be the most ideal thing. 13 well-off families. But we have plenty of houses for them, so they should find a home. Lumber mill, logging camp, mine, library. Yeah, like all these people should find homes here in this neighborhood. Um, we still have these on Penny Saver, which is kind of bad. No one really wants to vote for us, which is also pretty bad. Eh, actually, we're getting there after the speech. Um, whenever we have, like, somewhere around a year left, I'll go ahead and put tax cut on. Hopefully, we have enough money around that time. Um, let's check in on this. So, yeah, most of the people on the island are communist. Most of the people are militarist. We need to start getting everyone towards the industrialist faction, but we can do that later on. Okay. Ooh, why is my library so expensive? Yeah, in the course of this library's lifetime, $30,000. Let's leave it on the lowest budget. I never really checked that out. That's not good. Building is a bit damaged. Oh, did I? I need to start changing the budget on our bank every time we're like above and below zero dollars. Reason being is. With a higher budget and a decent amount of money in the treasure, we can actually generate money. But whenever we're really low, we'll end up losing way more money on a high budget. So it's good to actually change the budget around on that building. Coliseum of Rome's coming along. Let's put this on times four speed until we make it to the next era. As you can see, $40,000 and it's been like Somewhere, I think, like two years, maybe a little bit longer since we started that raid. Decrease the budget, of course. Let's see, last month it lost us a third of a thousand. Not great. 48k coming in. Okay, yeah, back up to the positive. Can increase the budget here. Okay, so now we are just waiting along for things to get better. Insufficient support, so that is our cue to turn on tax cut. And hopefully that's going to push our support above 50. Yep, just like that. 57, that means we'll win our election. It's going to be relatively close, but as long as we are still making it along. And that should, within the next decade, you get a an election every decade. Within this next decade, I'm fairly certain that we are going to make it into the next era. There's a good amount of money. Okay, so we're doing alright, we're doing alright. And with the Colosseum of Rome, all we need to do is make sure that everyone is happy. And everyone is fed. And we'll be in a very, very good spot. 
first things first, as soon as we make it in this air room, destroying this spy academy, um, I probably will come back and rebuild it later on once we're making way better money. But for now, definitely want to destroy it. 22k. All of our sugar is... This is something that I've never really done before, but you can pretty much use your dock as a storage. Which is really nice. Right? Like... This amount of sugar's just been hanging out this entire time. Ooh, look at Now we're actually starting to make money. And I think it might have been due to the fact that I increased the budget on many of our Teamsters offices. That's good. Okay, so we're making money. We're doing all right. Everyone over here should be poor. Is that what you would call that? Ooh, we're so close. The spies are returning. I wonder how they left. Oh, there they are, I think. I think that's literally them. Maybe. Hmm. Oh, but like I was saying, the sugar's just been hanging out, which is really nice, right? Like, 2,300 sugar, you might have noticed earlier, is around 6,000. And all that sugar is being funneled into our rum distillery, which is really cool. Presidente, the operation is a complete success. That paperweight on your desk, that is the real Colosseum. If you look closely, you may even see some surprised tourists still inside. Nice. Okay, so now what we gotta do, I'm pretty sure, is actually build it. And let's build it on our first little poor island over here. And as soon as they put the last part in, here we are. Nice. Oh, look at that. And the present will presently pass into the with the Cold War over. The future is bright. Possibly bright orange? We ask an expert. Alrighty, that's really, really, really good. Um, we can do paid healthcare. Okay. So let's look at our support. Because look at that, happiness shot up, that's really really nice. Because the fun happiness is like decent at least, food happiness is alright. And then if we specifically only allow the people in our rich area to vote, that means that... Like they have a very high fun happiness due to the fact that they have, you know, this theater, they got a really nice restaurant. I think they have two restaurants that are really nice. Um, really nice restaurants, let's do freezers. Yes, look at that. Oh, wow. Actually, how much was that? Hopefully, that wasn't too much. I feel like I just spent a bunch of money. But either way, let's... Maybe for now, what I can do is just pause it. Let's just pause this building. That's going to really help out, saving us quite a bit of money. And I think that's honestly, like, the biggest thing that was kind of messing with our island here. Just having that pause should make us... Or should put us in a pretty decent spot. Okay, so now it is time to really start kicking things into high gear. They're getting 47 here, 47 there. Let's look at plantations. Let's look at sugar. Hmm. It would be nice to actually produce our own sugar. It'd be funny if, like... It'd be funny if, like, the sugar that we're selling to all the, like, poor population was all manufactured and produced up here. Sorry if I said sugar, I meant rum. It'd just be funny if, like, we produce all the sugar, we produce all the rum, and then we distribute it amongst the poor population to keep them happy. So, because I think that would be funny, 
I'm going to go ahead and actually do it. So, um, so much stuff has just been unlocked to us. That's really, really cool. I'm actually really excited. This is like pretty much the beginning of this series now. We made it through the rough part. We're in a really good spot. Let's check our residential occupancy. Still a bunch of people don't really want to live in this neighborhood, which is kind of weird. Let's put the budget here. Actually, you know what? We can set the budget on the lowest setting. Um, 48 housing happiness should still be enough. And we can do the same thing down here. The absolute lowest? Well, you know what? We'll leave it... We'll leave it on the highest budget for now. That's alright. Because it would be nice to keep it roughly around 50. Um, but the housing happiness doesn't really matter. right? The major things are fun and food. So we should really try and get food happiness up. So let's build... Oh, and what's really nice is we actually have access to, wherever they are, metro stations. Let's do that. Oh, we could build some metro stations in our neighborhoods to increase their happiness, everyone's happiness nearby. So let's do that. Demolish that one up. Um, this is telling me that we're also going to need a police station, so let's go ahead and actually go through, demolish up all of these houses here. Nuclear weapons! Do they still have a place in our lives? Or are they simply objects of Cold War nostalgia? Um, police station, police station, police station, police station. And we just need a small park here. Um, so there is that. We'll let this all just get constructed up. Take it nice and slow. Just try and be as efficient as possible. And we can start building some metro stations up here. So let's consider doing that. Metro station... Demolish that park on up. Let's go ahead and do that one really cool idea I had, which is to build a metro station around there. And then let's do a parking deck here. Okay. So that's all going to be rather quite expensive, but in the long run, it won't cost us a whole lot of money. Where did this bus station come and go from? All the way over there. Hmm. I mean, I guess we could, but... In hindsight, it would probably be better to actually set it around here somewhere. Yes, because even the poor people can use the metro station, so that'll be fine. Now we just need all of that to get constructed up. So let's go into times three. All mineral goods are worth 15% less, which kind of sucks because a lot of our industry is actually set on that. Um, $3,500 for less crime. We'll take it. How's our electricity production going? Decently well, well enough. Let's go ahead and increase the budget of all the police stations. And we can surround this little area with parks. So let's go ahead and do that. I think the funniest thing whenever you click on Tropicans is like... Like... It, it, It'll sound like they're being spied on, you know? Like, they'll say certain things. Um, let me see if I can find one real quick. Are you lost? Me? Like, asking about, like... Like, it's just funny. It's like they're being spied on, you know? Like, you're being really intrusive. And I think the funniest one is when you click on, like, a child. Um, she'll be like... What's my birthday? Like question mark. I think that's really, really funny. Like, because you're <laughs> spying on your own population here. But anyways, 
Now we can actually have the parking deck up and running. Um, they can actually come over here. Everyone can use the bus station, so even the well-off people too get to this area so as a matter of fact let's actually set the ending to right in front of this grocery okay this is all turning out to be rather quite well very high support metro stations okay just need a little bit of time but but you know what? And I actually might demolish this grocery. Oh no. Don't have enough electricity since when? Ugh. I hate doing that. Um. Yeah, it's probably a good time to actually start setting up. Mm -hmm. There's so much that needs to happen. You know what? I'm fine paying the people up here a lot of money 63 megawatts spare megawatts so how much do these require that means we can build up two hydroponic plantations of sugar and that's roughly going to be like our limit i think let's do ooh, that fits snugly which makes me happy Alrighty. It'd probably be a good idea to actually electrify the Comentheos as well. Um, but I think I want to actually demolish this grocery eventually. Reason being is that I do want to very much build up a shopping mall. So we can finally get that image that I was talking about. Which is this. Like there's a bunch of slums in the foreground. And then in the background we have. A very nice shopping mall. I think that'll be really funny. Really rather quite interesting to see. Um, these are completely full. Which means that we should build up some more sometime soon. Let's demolish this road. Build it just straight out this way I suppose. That'll be fine for now. And let's do yet another Conventio. That looks good. Um, okay, so we will have sugar production pretty soon, as soon as we're done setting up all of this up here. Yes, okay, so getting it done now, um, we should build up a new high school, our first high school as well. And as a matter of fact, I think we're, I think we're doing well enough to switch these back to Red Star and Gunny. We're gonna need more electricity. Ooh, we're already running out of electricity, that's not, not the greatest. Um, we can put these on, we'll just leave them on the normal budget for now. 3480, 3480, that's how much sugar we're producing. So yeah, just like normal um, plantations, we still need two plantations for one rum distillery. So, I mean, not terrible, but not amazing. Let's build this straight down like that. Can build this straight over like that. Do that. Um, I reckon we can actually get a second building down like that. And hopefully... We're not spending too, too much money. Only 13,000. Not great. Looks like there's lots of stuff moving over, moving around the island though. So hopefully they start bringing us some good money here. Okay, that's not terrible. Uh, max out the budget here. Change this to auto recovery. Forty-six, forty-five. The Colosseum of Rome. Service quality eighty-six. That's pretty high. Hmm. 
ye old Colosseum of Rome. Twenty K in there, all the sugar is gone, but luckily we're actually gonna start producing sugar. So that is very, very good. Let's go ahead and just max out the budget now on this building. Let's see how much the power plants cost us in its lifetime. 37,000. But each house has made us 12K in its lifetime, which is really, really nice, right? Like, that's a lot of money that we've made over the course of this island's lifetime. Um, so the major reason I don't want to decrease the housing quality too low right now is due to the fact that um, maybe we can do yeah we can do these one lower I think keeping it maybe above like 30 is okay but we don't want it too low because people might start protesting they might start getting upset um, so we'll just keep it we'll try and keep it above 30 for now see if that's okay Um, okay. So, you know that math is a secret language of the universe, and... So, I think what's going to be a pretty good idea is to actually try and get all of our plantations off the island here. Yes. That'll probably be pretty decent, and I do want to move a number of plantations on up here. And I'm also thinking what might be a good idea is to actually set up agricultural subsidies. It's going to make the communists pretty happy while making the capitalists upset. Um, all agricultural buildings are going to have a 25% increase to efficiency while also making these buildings quite a bit more expensive. But that'll be okay. So, yeah, definitely going to be what we're going to go with here. Hmm. I mean, maybe... Oh man, I already built these sugar plantations, but maybe it would have been a better idea to actually mingle in the normal sugar plantations amongst the poorer population, and then actually have the sugar transported to the main rich island, where they would turn it into rum to be delivered back out to the people. But what's really nice with setting up all of this, like the island like this, is we can have stuff for rich people and we can have stuff for poor people. So we could do coconut harvesters. We can do, let's actually do one now. Yes. That's perfectly fine to go right there, I'd say. Um, we can do fishermen's wharfs, so let's go ahead and do one of those. Very simple building, gonna be producing some fish from it. Ooh, that's like, I really like the spot, but it's just a little inefficient in terms of spacing, so we can't really do it. We can do this. This building's now completely full, the other one isn't, so that's okay. And we just need to, the only downside is you do need to like sort of micromanage things, like I can't go control clicking all the mines now because or at least the budgets, right? Because it's going to um, affect even the mines up here, which isn't great. So we can't really go around doing that too much. Coconut Harvester, Fisherman's Wharf. That's really nice. We'll be producing coconuts and fish. Okay. Factory ranches. That'd be nice. We should have all the power produced on our main island, the rich island up here. And then I do want to start getting rid of these plantations here. Start filling it in with some more towny stuff. So, let's see. Plantations. Corn. We can do a bunch of corn down here. And then bananas. Corn and bananas. We can mix them in. Okay, okay. I think I see how I want to set this up. Now, pineapples. Hmm. How much are these buildings? Plantations. Pretty cheap. 1500 Not too bad. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and try and build a bridge across this little... I'm not sure if you'd call it a straight. What is a straight? A straight? A straight. Isn't that like... Wouldn't you call this a straight? I'm pretty sure you would. Anyways. Um, so we could do a bit of poor population stuff down here. Um, I think that's going to be all right. Pretty happy with that. Okay. So now, let's go ahead and do a bunch of pineapple plantations all through down here. Now, what I'm curious about is, would it be more efficient... Because the actual building itself is kind of small, right? Like, it's that big right there. <clears throat> the rest of the stuff that's being, like, overran by the road, that's all just, like, to bring efficiency up, right? Oh, no, because look at that. Efficiency goes down to 9%, so definitely not going to be efficient to do that. But up here, we're looking at a really good spot, so... Let us go ahead and... Start using as much space as possible up here. Let's do one, two, three. One, two, three. Now, what kind of does suck is we're going to need plenty of manure for all of this. Let's go ahead and build a road down yonder, like so. Okay. Now, before we get around to building these, let's put this all in low priority. <clears throat> and what I kind of want to do is, well, first off, let's do a convenio. At least one right here is probably fine. Well, no, I do want to make um, some more plantations throughout here. So let's let's build a little zone out this way. Let's go like this. Content with that. Um, let's actually... Try and figure a way to make this look decent. Ugh. I mean, I sort of hate that, but... We'll rock with it. Hopefully it'll be okay. Kind of like a Y. That's like the best Y I've ever seen. That I've ever made. Um, so out here, all plantations. I think I want to make like sort of a mega plantation. Very simple mega plantation. So we'll do what we can here. So corn, some bananas, pineapples don't want to be down here. Sugar doesn't. We only need like realistically only five different crops for it to actually gain the benefits of having multiculture, the multiculture work mode. And we're not really running into anything that's too great. Kind of seems like we've used most of the good area with those first two plantations. So I might change it up a bit. Banana and corns at least. Banana and corn at least grows well out here. Sugar, cocoa. I do think that this is good enough. Yeah, 73. That's good enough. Um, let's actually demolish these two, cancel that construction. And let's place different ones there. We can move the corn <clears throat> and the bananas over a bit. To around here, yeah, that's alright. 99, that's really good actually. This one's cocoa, right? Yep, so we have cocoa. And then the first set. The first two plantations. Corn, banana, and cocoa. Let's go ahead and do rubber, I guess. 80%, that's good enough. We can do cotton as well. So there's our necessary four, but let's go ahead and do five. Build the road down amongst all of these, and let's go ahead and consider building up some very basic plantations all throughout here. Not plantations, some ranches. Um, for now, we'll skip building like the very expensive... Um, Factory ranches, 
Maybe we'll come back and do those later, but I would like to have around four there, and all of the manure from those is going to be used to affect our pineapple plantations up here. So I kind of like the idea of doing something like that. Yeah. Let's put that all in low priority as well. Get all this done first, and then let's start building in conventillos. Dun, 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 dun. Um, did I build this correctly? No. Um, we're gonna probably need it in the very least two. So what else? What else? Plan or not plantations, but we're also gonna need some teamsters offices. We'll go with three. Okay. And as a matter of fact. What I kind of want to do is actually move these construction offices because they have like dirt. They don't really have bricks. So let's go ahead and, oh, they're only $500 to relocate. So let's relocate these. Can relocate one here. And I believe we had a second one somewhere, didn't we? We did. Let's relo relocate this one over here as well. Hmm. We could do it there, that looks kind of silly, but I guess it'll work out. And for these, let's do ignore safety regulations and then decrease the budget to where it's just below um, a well-off wage, so that'll be alright. So that's more poor people. Poor people will now work in all of the construction buildings. And we don't really care if they ignore the safety regulations. Um, we'll say we'll accept it, but... We'll end up not fulfilling it. Decrease budget for now. So any of the teamsters that work here on the main island are going to make a well-off wage. Let's actually put all of these on this budget here, the normal budget. Um, $11 still well-off wage, but not spending too much money. And then once all of this is constructed, we'll be in a very, very good spot. So let's demolish this on up. Now it's probably going to be a good idea to actually set up a... Let's build a road all the way down like this, I suppose. See if we can come all the way down to here. We can. Cool. So a ginormous square here. And we're going to need to connect it here. Or we're going to want to at least. And let's go ahead and do a Teamsters port here. Yes. Oh, we could even do it here. I guess that's a good enough spot. And this is telling me that we're also going to need... Oh no, the dock's here. Okay, perfect. This is all perfect. Everything is perfect. Plantations, poor people, plant like mines, poor people. And then delegation and rich people up there. 24k, we're not doing super hot right now. We could probably actually turn on the sugar trades. Previously it was turned off, but now it doesn't matter too, too much because we're producing our own sugar. Efficiency is only 96. Wow. Oh, supply local market, and I think something in the constitution is dragging it down a bit too. Or as well. This is business news on Canal Uno. The planet is in grave danger, Presidente. Surely the goddess needs us to save her now more than ever. They call me the broker. I guess I had another name once. But you know what names are good for? They're good for getting you arrested, Presidente. Well, that's not my game. My game would be business. Which business? Hey, what have you got? Okay, so there was something that I was thinking about while I was looking over stuff. What was it? Oh, high school. Let's build our first high school. Um, it's going to end up costing us money over time, but that is a sacrifice that I'm willing to make. Okay, out here, we want this to... I mean, honestly, we could go with the... Oh, no, 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 I messed up. 
Well, honestly, we don't need corn, banana, and we don't need pineapples. So let's demolish all of these. We're actually producing this all on that other island over there. Okay, and then we can get rid of the manure spreader. And we could probably even go with cattle and... I'll leave the goats, but let's demolish this cattle one up. Okay. So there is a lot of stuff demolished, but realistically, it's just moved on over. Um, these ones, we're going to go with multiculture on them. So let's go ahead and switch them on over. These here, we can put them on pasture prohibition. And then these ones, these ones up here, we want to leave them on that. And let's put them on pollination parcel. Let's see. Yeah, efficiency 123. And these manure spreaders, we can do concentrated spray. That's why I put them in the spots I did. Very, very, very good. Nice. Okay. Set your alarm, Presidente, because eco peril. Wow, look at that. And so these down here are done. Let's go ahead and actually decrease their budget just by one here. And what I think is funny is like any of the teamsters from the main island, they're going to be very careful about the goods they're hauling around. But it'd be funny if the teamsters from the poor islands didn't really care too much. They were just like spilling stuff while they're roaming around. And because of that, we kind of want to actually overproduce a bit. Um, we're going to need a number of things. First off, let's go ahead and get these people actually their very own grocery. And also, it would probably be a good idea to build up a number of taverns for them. So let's go ahead and do that. Probably even, let's go ahead and actually get deckhands on these Teamsters, this Teamsters port. Um, again, lower the budget, lose speed limit, lose speed limit. Increase the speed of cargo ships by 50. Each ship might lose up to 5% of its freight. Hmm, that's interesting. Um, are these completely full here? Auto recovery. That there. Let's go ahead and do, I suppose, two more common deals. Because of that, we're spending a lot of money, so let's decrease the budget on our national bank for a bit. Only 15k is in here, not great. Ooh, yeah, we're actually starting to hurt for money here. But we're hoping in the long run that we'll be okay. What really sucks is that gold plummeted for so long. That really, really, really sucks. Because in prices, gold is usually, like, not amazing, but it's not terrible. Ooh, it went up recently. Okay, that's good. We have word from the palace officially denying that there are any plans to genetically engineer more compliant citizens. How reassuring. How reassuring. Lots of logs just hanging out over there. We have the high school up and running. Yeah, we can go one budget lower. Let's go to research actually and let's go ahead and research the high school. And we can put this on military education. Oh yeah, dude. That's not good. We're spending kind of a lot of money. I hate building up islands that rely on exports. It just feels like... It just feels like you're always on the verge of being broke. Okay, there we go. 56. Service quality, not terrible. Oh man, we're actually starting to hemorrhage money a bit here. <gasps> that is not good. Why, though? You know what it is? It's the fact that we have 126 vacant jobs. That's the issue. And we don't really have any way to fix that right now, so we just need time on our side. Oh, 
okay, I mean, like, at least we're doing all right. But yeah, I really hate islands that rely solely on... What's it called? Um, Like, I hate an island that doesn't use tourism or doesn't use offices. Because... You're just going to be losing money, and then you gain a bunch of money, and then you lose money, and you gain a bunch of money. Um, I just think it's a bit of a headache to have to worry about it constantly. Hmm. How's the housing up here? Residential occupancy. Due to the fact that we are hurting for money... Let's go ahead and actually pause up a number of these buildings. Any building that no one's living in. It's been a while since I tried to be hyper efficient about things like this. But maybe now isn't the worst of times to do that. I mean, it's only $8 a month that we're losing, that we're saving, but considering the fact that we just did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. $80 bucks a month. We'll take it. So we're pretty much saving enough money to pay for the high school just by pausing these buildings. And there's even another one which I didn't pause yet. Okay. So now we're paying for the high school through simply pausing some buildings. Um, let's go ahead and change this these to the penny saver. It probably wouldn't be a bad idea to set up another set of buildings out here to... To what's it called? Um, to actually get the penny saver bonus from the Comentheos. That'd probably be a decent idea. Um, no one wants to work in our mines. That's a major issue. Let's put these all in profit protocol. Yeah. Okay. So no one wants to work in stuff like this gold mine out here. That really, really sucks, right? Because that's directly causing us to lose a lot of money. Lots of money coming in right now, though. That's nice. As long as the efficiency efficiencies aren't terrible, I'm happy with it. But it looks like this road is sort of bowing out a bit, so we don't really have the money to pay for it right now to fix it, but that's what's decreasing this efficiency down to 72 is the fact that that road is kind of bent. Kind of annoying, but we'll deal with it for now. Um, let's get a good sense of what's going on by checking out workforce occupancy. Yeah, so the mines are doing per terrible. Um, a fisherman's wharf. Let's do that. Let's do drift netting. And I would like to get fishing dredge, but we don't really have the money for it right at this moment. Okay, here we go. That's the money we're looking for. 46k. We're doing alright. So what I should do is try and get some more industry up and running. I think that's going to be a way that we're going to make a lot of money. Now, what is some really good industry? Cars, 27k. It looks like it was sort of on a downtrend for a bit, but we could do cars. We should do cars, actually. I believe we're actually producing rubber. We are producing rubber. We could set up a car manufacturing plant probably like right now. Well, as soon as we have money. Let's, um, let's make who happy. I suppose someone dystopian. Let's go China. How much is it for a vehicle factory? It's really expensive, but if we can make China happy, then we can ask them for money, and hopefully they will... Hopefully they will go ahead and... Ooh, I don't want to sell a whole 14,000 units of coconuts. Like, that's a lot of coconuts. Um, considering the fact that there's a good chance that no one's even working in our coconut harvester. 
Um, I would like just some very simple deals. Whatever is going to be the most simple. Low volumes and yes, 15,000 logs. Maybe not the best because we might actually be... Oh, that's 15,000 logs being imported, but still, that's a long time to try and fulfill that. We can sell them 10,000 units of milk. We're not, like, producing an insane amount of milk. Let's go see how much we're making. Um, Smalk. Yeah, like, every two years, we're making 700 milk. Yeah, right. I'm not going to try and sell China 15,000 or 10,000 units. That'd be, like... 100 years to fulfill that coconuts canned goods bananas eh. these are all just absolutely horrendous deals we can praise them that'll bring us up to 61 we only need 71 that we'd actually be up to 75 okay yeah, let's go ahead and praise china here and then i guess we can do and all of these deals are just absolutely Horrible. Horrible for like our current economy setup. Like 88,000. That's so many coconuts. I guess we can sign it and and like over the course of time it will fulfill but that just really sucks. And then we can ask for some money from China. And with this money we can actually set up our vehicle factory. Yes. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't know what it is but like, on this island, I feel like a lot of the roads are just, like, a little off. Like, they're curved out in just the smallest, like, weird little ways. <sighs> the European Union issues a travel warning for Tropico. Probably due to the fact that we stole... We stole their what's-it-called. Yeah, it has to be it. We went and stole the Colosseum of Rome, but I believe over time this... Penalty is going to kind of be alleviated, so we'll be okay. And hopefully we're making enough rubber and steel for this building, the vehicle factory. Just need to hope. Ah, oh, the bank's been on the low budget. I wonder how much money the bank's made us over its lifetime. 46k. Not amazing. Kind of whatever, but it'll get, it'll get better once we actually start producing a lot of really nice expensive goods. Yeah, you know what? I just realized this. Maybe that would be a good way to set it up is like everyone out here is producing stuff and then it gets funneled to the main island where we turn it with turn it into like more expensive goods through industry. That how did I not think of that before? Definitely gonna be a good method. High school, we'll leave this on the medium budget, so we need fifty one twenty steel. Deliver an amazing speech. Not really worried about this anymore. We don't need to worry about it um, at all, really. My friends. My friends. Um, anyways. I guess I had another name once. But you know what names are good for? They're good for getting you arrested, Presidente. Well, that's not my game. My game would be business. Which business? Hey, what have you got? <laughs> So all we need is a second rubber. Oh, we don't even have money for this. We have roughly half the rubber that we need. Which isn't amazing. Means that production's probably going to be a bit slow. But let's go ahead and just sort of chill out. Let's go and investigate our island in the meantime. We should make money. Eventually. I believe there's like buttons to actually increase and decrease the speed. Let's just hang out in times one and just observe. So, gonna mention it again, 1948. 1942? No, 1948. I believe that's the book. But this is what it reminds me of. This is like what I think of whenever I think of that book is slums like this. And then... It'll be just like right here, sort of, what's it called, um, taverns like this to get very cheap alcohol, which I think is pretty cool looking. Like, I think it'll be really neat eventually as time goes on. Um, we just need even more money, 26k, 
Let's go into attempt four speed while we wait for this. We could probably decrease the budget by one. Um, just to help keep things kind of civil. But now we're producing cars, so if we could get a car... Ooh, we do have a car. Let's do this. 4,800 units of cars. That'll be alright. Um, how many of our population is rich, actually? Eh, a handful. They're the only ones that are going to be using the parking deck. Not terrible. Most of the people are just going to be using the bus, though. Cars? Look at that. We're starting to make good money because of the cars. That's really nice. And so as time goes on and we produce more and more cars, we'll actually start to hopefully produce a lot of money. That is the hope and why we did this. 7,100 units of planks. Let's make sure... No, everything's being sold, so... Not the end of the world. That's a lot of planks to be selling, though. Um, we just need, we just need enough money to actually purchase one more singular rubber plantation. That should be the limiting factor for us right now, is the rubber. We're still probably going to win the election. I wonder why we lost a bunch of support recently. Hmm. Couldn't tell you. We're losing $5,000 a month. That's what I've noticed the trend is right now. Oh, oh. You got it, guys. 7000 That's enough. Okay, we just need one more rubber plantation. Let's maybe try and get two down. Alrighty. That should be all the rubber, and then the limiting factor goes back to being the steel mill, which we can probably set up another steel mill once we, um, once we make, make enough money for that. No, allow everyone to vote freely. We could probably turn on tax cut again. Oh, we don't have money for tax cut, so, well, I, I'm fairly confident we'll win this election. Expected revenue, what... A good way to tell if you're building up an island that relies on exports, a good way to tell if you're making money is just constantly compare expected revenue directly to your current treasure, treasury, right? So we're 8,000 above, only, ooh, now we're below 1,000, up 1,000, boom, we just made 50k from cars, I believe, yep. Close election, and look at that, cars. Okay, so now let's go ahead and set up a second steel mill. Alrighty, and now we are winning our elections. The population is content enough. We have a very nice industry. Things are looking up. And with this industry, honestly, we should be good forever, I reckon. All we need to do is continue to build up more industry as time goes on, right? But eventually we'll probably be totally A-OK. -okay. Furniture was up on an uptrend, I think, recently. Maybe it wasn't. But we could set up more furniture. Ooh, smart furniture is worth less than normal furniture. Yeah, I think furniture, normal furniture was on an uptrend for a while. So you'd end up losing money turning furniture into smart furniture. Um, we could set up jewelry. Jewelry wasn't affected by the gold loss of recent years, recent decades. So we should set up a jewelry workshop. I think that'll be kind of like the last building I'm going to set up for today's episode. And we'll be in a really, really good spot, I think. Yeah, look at us now. We are rolling in the dough. However small amount of... However the small... I, I can't speak... Anyways, we're making good money. 24k. Um, let's consider how much this is going to be for a jewelry workshop. Not that expensive. Okay. Can we get it? Yeah, we can buy it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Look okay, at we can get it right here too. Let's go ahead and let that get constructed up. And that should be enough to turn all of our... Oh yeah. What's the issue here? Yep, now it's the steel. We're making enough rubber. We just need steel. What did he mean by that? Um, 
Um, no one wants to work in it, which really sucks. Let's increase the budget, I suppose. Hopefully that'll get people to come down there and work in it. Um, here we can actually go with the max budget. Okay. So now all of the everythings is going to be... Are going to be pushed down here and we will start making really good money. We'll move El Presidente's Palace eventually. Turn this into... I think this like entire beachfront here is all going to be like industrial... Not skyscrapers, but it'll be industrial. Maybe we'll build some skyscrapers, like, up here-ish somewhere. No, we'll do it, I think. Hmm. Maybe just, like, a handful of skyscrapers in this area. And then, up here, I should make... It's kind of a shame, but I really, really want to move this neighborhood all the way to the very top. Like, we're 30... 30,000 in the negative, but I know that eventually we will be positive because we're starting to produce some very Very nice expensive goods um, Let's go into the trade menu turn off the export of First off gold, right? We don't want to sell our gold. We'd rather turn it into jewelry Which is gonna be worth way more. Let's turn off steel and Let's turn off rubber for now Okay, so the important industries we're keeping all of the necessary goods in. 23,000 to 16k means we're up. Right now it's even. Okay, 25. Yes. And so if if this building, the jewelry workshop, is going to be constantly full of gold, then that means that we should actually um, build up another jewelry workshop, which might not be the case, but... If it is the case, then we'll build up more. Maybe not in this episode. And only in future episodes, we made 51,000. Probably mostly due to the fact that we're selling cars. Okay. So yeah, we are in finally, finally, after all this toil, we're in a good spot. But I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And if you want to follow along with more Tropico 6 series like this, then be sure to subscribe. Peace.